Welcome to Amo Drink with Charlene and Ellie. Our podcast is like the group drop between your best friends. Yes. The girls bathroom and the night out. Just your safe space. Where you spill it all. Yeah. Spill your guts. Yeah. We say, we overshare a lot on this podcast actually. 100%. Yeah. Sometimes we take it out, sometimes we don't. Sometimes I walk away and I'm like, mm, probably shouldn't have said that. Because it's just us in a room. Yeah. And then it's very easy to get too comfortable sometimes. Yes. But that's what we aim to do. We use our listeners. Yeah. We want to be extra comfortable and... Yeah. Comfy. Spill like we are on. on this lovely, lovely couch. Yeah, our lovely couch. And if you're a turn listener, welcome. Mm-hmm. And if you're... New. Welcome, welcome back. <laughs> and welcome back to us. Yay! It's only our second episode back after being gone. A long break. Yeah. Mm. A long, long break that we really missed the podcast in, so... We're so excited to have new episodes every Wednesday, which is now on video as well. We're still getting Hello. used to having the cameras there full time. Um, but yeah, you can watch us on YouTube now too. Then we have our bonus episodes on Mondays. They're not on video, but they are spicy and fresh. Yeah. We, we try to them. Yeah, switch it up a little bit to give them a little new lease of life. Yeah. Should I say? Yeah. Just a bit of more unfiltered. Mm-hmm. Not that we do filter ourselves on this, but... It's more relaxed. Even more like, relaxed. Yeah, even like, more. We're like this. Like, yeah, actually. horizontal. We also have some new bits to our set. So mm-hmm. we gave the couch a little makeover. A DIY job. Yeah, and it really worked. It really did. I'm very proud of how I put it together. It's giving upholstery. It really is. Could go, could I go into that area of... You can now. A job? Yeah. We just covered the couch in blankets. So they're from Pennies. Thanks mm-hmm. to Pennies for giving us them. And this little drama cushion. If you're listening, it's like a... Cushion, this is drama on it. It's adorable. And then How Rad Studios gave us gorgeous little prints mm. that we have here. We have one that says Material Girl, and it's on the wall. a picture of the Versace heels yep. hanging. There is a Girl Power one, there's one with us on it. More love, they have gorgeous, like little cool the designs. The cutest things ever. They and gave us little mugs as well. Yeah, and personalized mugs and yeah. stuff. So they're adorable. Very grateful. And these little cups are from Pennies. Yeah. Cherries on them. Adorable. These are given like <clears throat> festival in summer. Yeah. Because you know you can bring an f- empty cup into a festival. When it's empty. Mm-hmm. And then just fill it in there. Mm-hmm. Reusable and all that. And I hate when you're walking with a cup at a festival and it's spilling everywhere. Yeah. And that happened to me at Dermot The drink just went all over me. Yeah. I was saturated. Oh, there's not no... And I hate the feeling of being... Sticky. Of a drink on you. Yeah. It's cold. Like... It's just not nice. No. Nope. Even when the, the weather is nice. Um... But we want to catch up a bit on other bits that have been going on because we actually forgot loads last week. Yeah. After the episode, we were like, uh, we just completely forgot a whole basically month of, of what our was lives. Going on. Yeah. Yeah. So we went to Tomorrowland with Coca Cola mm-hmm. and it was insane. It that was the was most well ran for such a, a big festival with so many numbers. It was so well ran. Yeah. Like you beep going in and out with your little wristband. They always know where people are then. Yeah. Based on that because you have a number which is attached to your name. So if someone went, like, say, missing, you'd be like, you'd well, they, where they, they last checked in here or checked out here. Yeah. Me? And then, like, everywhere, there was no queue. Did you ever notice there was no queue for drinks? Not once. No. The only queue we saw was going in one night, but I think we went at a really bad time. Yeah. I'm still confused as to if that was a queue or not. Maybe they weren't even open and it was just people waiting. Yeah. Maybe that's what it was. Because it was like they were all just, no one was even moving. Yeah, everyone was just standing there. So maybe it was the fact that it, they probably weren't. Maybe they couldn't get in and it was too late to get in and they just had to wait. wait. No, it wouldn't have been. Would have been waiting to go in, I'd say. I don't know, but it was like. That could that could be people who want to be at the front of the barrier. Oh, I'm waiting to get up to the that's very your top. idea of hell. Hell on earth. Hell. If you ever see me at a festival or a concert or anything you will always catch me at the back yeah i don't understand why 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 do you want to be up at the barrier for what reason to get absolutely smooshed to death see your favorite artist and i can see her from the back she's on a screen it's fine oh i no. was at the front for just me before and it was too sweaty i had to move back yeah see i just i need space and like not that i'm absolutely cartwheeling around the gaff but like i just need to be be able to breathe breathe and yeah. dance because you can't dance at the front no and if the second if someone pushes it gets really dangerous yeah i just uh, i just suffocate no. not into all that crammy spaces yeah but tomorrowland the amount of people there was unbelievable yeah it was mad it was in them massive. in them like tent. the tent in the actual yeah. main arena mm-hmm. thing oh my god when we were upstairs looking down at everyone and seeing all the different flags and all was deadly. yeah it was really cool yeah, it was very really cool. cool and we went anyone's skiing. Well, 
Would you even call it skill? Well, you tried your hand at it. Well, I, I gave it a back. You gave it your best go. Gave it a whirl now. Yeah. Jesus, those boots are tight because I couldn't have gone all that way there and been like, no, I didn't. My mom would have killed me. My mom honestly would have absolutely killed me if, if I, I didn't. didn't ski. Yeah, my mom loves the ski holiday. So um, she was like, you have to at least give it a go. Yeah. yeah. So I rented the skis for about 20 minutes. Yeah. They're the tightest things ever. They're so heavy. Yeah, and they the looked... They look real like narrow and, yeah. and thick. The whole motion of like using your, you have to pull yourself to go. And now, obviously, in saying that, I'd say it's easier if you're coming down a bleeding steep slope and you just go wee. Yeah. But Whereas we, we figured out from watching it that you can't actually just go straight down a slope. You have to like, yeah, weave, slow yourself down by that. If you came straight down, you'd absolutely fly into next Head week. first into <laughs> one of them chalets. Yeah. So I just went down a little baby. Little baby ones. Little ramps. Yeah, they were fun. And then yeah. like 20 minutes later, I was like, the beads of sweat are rolling down my back. Yeah, very hard. But oh, I'm, yeah, I'm making off. it my mission. I'm going on another ski holiday. And really? I'm, yeah, I'm actually going to do the lessons ski. and all. And I want to... I think I... Well, you can do lessons before you go. You're best off doing that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably that. And kilter her. Because our friend Kira was actually... So random. On the Irish ski team. Did not believe her when she told yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Me I was like, you big fat liar. That's like one of the things that you tell in three... Two truths and a lie. And a lie, yeah. I was yeah. on the Irish ski yeah, team. That's the most random thing I've ever heard one. in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't even know I had yeah. one. But yeah, no, making it my mission because that was my first ever ski holiday. So I want to go back on one and yeah. properly do it. I think I'll be good. Yeah. I really do. Mm. You have it in you, like. Kind of have the knack for it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just kept telling everyone, I was like, ah, if it's like rollerblading, it'd be grand. Mm, no. No. Yeah. Well, it's the balance. That's really yeah, the, the balance. thing. Yeah. To balance in them. I wonder what psycho now on the big slope. I would love it. Shit myself. No, I would absolutely love it. I'd hate that's my idea of hell. Skiing. Hell. But you jumped off a cliff with a I'd man attached on the back of you. Do that. What's that yeah. called? Paragliding? Every day I'd love to do that. I can't believe you did that. Paragliding. And we were probably the most hungover I've been in a long time. Yeah, I was pretty hungover. But you know when you're so hungover that like nothing feels real. <laughs> yeah, and you feel just like fuck it like, <laughs> it. like I was just like, yeah, do you know what? I just feel like jumping off the cliff. Oh, like. God. So I see, we've seen all the parachutes in the sky. I was like, wow, I'd love to see that. I have fair heights, bare mind. Yeah, I don't know what. But I was like, fuck it. it. Like, I'm doing, I'm doing a, uh, oh, I haven't done that in the podcast yet. I'm doing a, oh, yeah. Par- skydive. Skydive. Parachute jump or something. I'm doing a skydive um, in May, June time. For women's aids, and I was like, "Fuck it, it's kind of practice." Yeah, fra- it's getting the me. Height. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't actually feel that nervous now for the for the skydive. I, I no. think you'll love it. Since I've done that, I'm like, well, yeah. And that you're staying in the sky. Do you know what I mean? At least with skydive, you're coming you're down. You're going so yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where so the paraglide thing, you were just hovering around. I was yeah. Like, what should you do? Did you see my little legs? Please like, come down. So we went in the ski lift, and uh, he brought us up, and. You have to basically wait for the wind. So me and him was waiting. He strapped me on to him. She looked like a first year going to school with this big baver sack yeah, on the yeah, back yeah. of her. The thing was down to the back oh, of her legs. That? Oh, that was the thing I sit on. Is it? Yeah, that was my seat. He just kept saying, I don't think it's tight enough. I don't think it's tight. Yeah, it felt fucking loose as hell. He was like, yeah, you can tie that if you want. If you want. If you, what do you mean if, if you, you want? want? I was like, great. And uh, then we go to the top of mountain, wait for the wind to come. There was other people doing it as well. Mm. And one guy was like, he was like my Canadian, was he? He was like, yeah, wasn't to do it. I was like, yeah. ah. but you just have to. He was like, you need to run. So some people boat air skis. So them and the instructor. How do you, you run? Ski then? Down. You get, oh, you, you just, ski down you slow, ski down and then go. But I obviously didn't have skis on. I can't ski, so I had to run. And he was on skis, so I was pulling both of us. You were pulling the weight of a grown man and a load of parachutes. Yeah. Well, like, I was run, actually, run, run. I think I was taller than your little girl. legs were like this. Hey, go slow because your first fall, you're like. Treading the snow because it's hard, and then it, as it gets easier, legs are like this. It was so quick. And then she just jumped off a cliff. Jumped off the like, cliff. All oh, right. Yeah. And then it wasn't scary when I was over the snow, but once I was over the valley, I was like, oh, I feel about sick. how high it is. Like, yeah, because you could feel the height you were at, and there was a vulture below me, and I was like, if he is below me, how, how high, high am I? Yeah, yeah. And because there's mountains around you, it also doesn't feel as high as it would. I think if you'd done it in Dublin, you'd be like. You I just don't know over Dublin. Yeah, you feel Jump safe. off the spire. Because when there's stuff around you that's high too, which it somehow doesn't feel You realise, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because you're like, oh, that's cross there. I'm basically not even yeah. high. And then he has to get like altitude by going up in circles. So that was a bit disorientating. To get higher, you have to like circle. And you go, it's like you're open like a spiral. 
felt I was that's enough. That's weird how you that's enough now. <laughs> how you do that and go up. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I thought you would have came down. I think it's to catch the wind. So like like he was like, we have to go up. higher so we get the landing. I think it was making it up. I think there was no reason for us to keep going higher. No. Just wanted to torture me. He really did. He just flew over my head. Was it? And then I was texting the group chat. Yeah, I was just like, girls, <laughs> guess what this lunatic is <laughs> Let me down. find it. Hang on. I just sent in a video of you jumping off a cliff and they were like, no, she's not. And I was like, yeah. With an extreme hangover as well. I don't really know what's happening today. <laughs> when did we go? We went in Mar- March. Oh yeah, here we go. <clears throat> I was highly confused about the whole thing. This is me sending to the group chat. Hi guys, I'm just up in the sky. Oh, in the sky. <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> He's singing, I'm like fucking miles up. And then, did I send? Oh yeah, I sent a voice message. Oh guys, I just fucking flew past a vulture. <laughs> I just flew past a vulture. I just flew past a vulture. <laughs> <laughs> it was so mad. I thought you were going to start pecking out my b- eyeballs and all. Then you got that mad plate of cheese and pasta. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell? What the heck was that? What the fuck? She went to the bank and I ordered, or we both ordered food and then Shara went to the bank. And I just... Oh, so wait, oh, for this paraglide as well, by the way, I hadn't oh, booked this. <clears throat> and they're all booked out. And then I went up, I was like, can I go? He's like, we have to wait. And I, I still don't know to this day what we were waiting on. Because we just had to stand there for like an hour and he's like, come back in 30 minutes. Which included, or was it 30 or 40 minutes or something? Which included us, I had to get cash out to pay him. Because I hadn't booked online, so I had to pay cash. Yeah. Well, I don't carry cash. Like, had the cash out, had to go back to the hotel, get my cards. Mm-hmm. All within the space of like four, 40 minutes to get taxi boat ways. It was, it was the pressure. And then the taxi wasn't coming on time. Then some random man. Okay, he wasn't lit. random. He was working for with Coke. He was doing like the was taxis he? for Coke. Yeah, yeah. He's he, like, oh, I'll just drop you. Yeah. And I'm like, thank you. And he brought us. And thank God we made it. But um, yeah, come back. Afterwards, then I had to pay extra for the photos. Photos, that I got. you did. But then went to the bank, and while I was in the bank, Ellie had ordered me the pasta. I wanted like the pasta with butter and cheese. It was like spaghetti with a little knob of butter, still in the foil, by the way. It, it, no, it was like they put the cheese on the plate first. So imagine a bag of grated cheese just sprinkled over a plate, right? Like covering the whole bottom of the plate. Then put pasta on it, but bear in oh, mind, the pasta. yeah, the, the, was warm. the cheese didn't melt. There's a little knob of butter. It came and it sat beside me. I said, she is not going to eat that. I played it safe with a margarita pizza. How many pizzas did I eat? Nice the holiday? Yeah. Pizza was nice. And the sushi place you went to, oh, oh delicious. Banging. My God. Mm. That with Coke really had the best trips. Yeah. It was a deadly one. Yeah. Tomorrowland, like what? And we met like all these different people from all around the world. We were with the South yeah. African people most of the time. They were so lovely. So nice. And the four are my lads. Oh yeah, oh. Ah. great crack. As if they'll ever hear. I anything. know, never. We had great crack with yeah. them. I love them. They were running around in runners in the snow and all. Oh, like your feet. t-shirts, no. Yeah. Although it wasn't as cold as I thought. I, did, I thought like I thought we'd have to be thermaled up to the eyeballs. I wore a thermal one. No, and layers and, yeah. and oh my god, no, you're sweating in those sweating. Skis, or in those suits. I wonder is it different when it's a different time of year because <laughs> we were kind of at the end of the ski season apparently. And the air as well. I literally thought the vapes were honestly taking me off the smoke. I thought I had <laughs> it's got a vape or something. <laughs> was vaping as well. We couldn't breathe. We couldn't breathe. But then we figured out it was because the altitude. The air. The air is so I'd walk cool. from here to over there and I'd literally be like. <gasps> yeah. Like it was mad. I also lost my suitcases for the first time in my life. Oh yeah. Never ever. Yeah. Bear in mind I was out the week before and I was telling someone that I'd never lost a suitcase. I absolutely Inch- jinxed myself. We got to France. And there was a lady waiting on the, as soon as you got off the plane, there was like, a lady waiting yeah. there with our names on this little board. And two other names. And too. two other names. And we were like, oh, fancy, you collecting us right from the <laughs> plane. <laughs> Never got that before. Gorgeous. <laughs> She's like, hi, Charlene, Ellie or Ellen or whatever. Yes. And we were like, yes, that's us. Collection. Thank you. She, yeah, your suitcases didn't arrive. I was like, say what now? They were like, she was like, two out of four came. See, they fucked up the, the tags on them. So yeah. two of my... We each had two suitcases each, but my one of mine said Ellen Kelly and the other one said Charlene Murphy, and the same goes for yeah, you. Yeah, they weren't labelled right, oh. which is actually grand. You, like, yeah, well, it didn't really. That's why when she came up to she was like, one of each of your bags are gone. And we were like, oh, and I was like, Shara, if it's the one that has, either way, I was fucked because one of them had like all my makeup, the yeah. way that I packed them, one of them had all my makeup, all my toiletries, all my knickers, my socks, like all that and to get ready with. And then the other one was closed. 
we were like, which one would it be for? Yeah, like, I hope mm, it's this. One. I was like, I hope yeah. it's my cow print one. And I think I was just so tired. I was like, you know what? There's no point even giving out now at this stage. No, it's no one's fault. Well, no. mm, I don't know, is it? But yeah. So my cases didn't arrive for day and a half, was it? Yeah, yeah. But we got them. We couldn't stop sleeping either. We couldn't. We, we were, were very, very tired. tired. <laughs> like every time for a period, though. Yeah. Few, few days for a period. We were tired. Very tired. Much more of an older festival, may I add. Yeah, I felt like a spring chicken. I felt in my absolute prime. Yeah, if anyone's looking for a festival to go to that isn't really young. Yeah. I feel like, well, maybe it's because we're older. But Is like, it? I feel like festivals no. are getting a bit younger than... That was that was a much older yeah. crowd. Yeah. 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 That was like people who love all those DJs who listened to them years ago and wanted to go back and relive it like or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was mad. Yeah. And I was showing my like, dad the videos and he's like, oh, I'd love that now. I was like, yeah, would you? Uh, go- Good one. <laughs> showing him like all the smoke Do patterns you know? and all. Yeah. yeah. It's like, who's that now? I was like, as if you're going to start listening to yeah, them. No, Dude, <laughs> Yeah, no. Um, oh, yeah, it was great. Oh. And it was really like, real safe. And like, you never felt like, yeah. everyone was just there on... Mind their own business. Yeah. Do you ever feel like some vessels and all people are just looking for like troll or like just yeah. You know what I mean? No. Everyone just kind of kept kept themselves yeah. kind of. But also had fun together. It was a ball. We seen loads of people play. <clears throat> it's great. Yeah. We were very tired after. We were very it's, tired. It's, we don't have a lot of steps though. And also we got stuck in a ski lift. For two minutes. Oh yeah, but it felt like a lifetime. It was on the way up to the parachute and I was like, well, thank God for this. But I have the parachute on my back. I can just hop out of the ski I can lift. just jump. Come here, no. actually. Did you see that video of the ski lift going billy yeah, Did you watch it? it? Did someone say it to us? Yeah, in while the, we were there. But yeah, did you yeah. see the video? No. Yeah, thank God you didn't see it before we got in one of them. Oh my fucking God, Cher. Would I never got on one again? No, you wouldn't have got on Show it. Show me. You wouldn't have got on it. Show me. I swear to God. I no, saw... You wouldn't want to have, like... Severe. I, I say I'm afraid of heights. Like, I just get a bit jelly legged and feel a bit sick, but like, I wouldn't start having a panic attack around, but like, them ski lifts go high. It's literally called Ski Lift Incident. Oh my god. Why is it going 90 though? Oh no. Is this them going, Billy? Oh no, it's this one. Sorry. Look at them. S- Look! <gasps> Why would they get in when it's. Like, they are shaking. Are people in them? I don't know, but I saw it and I was like, absolutely not. Violently shaking. Look at that. Look at that. Oh one. my god, that one's like a roller coaster. No. Oh my god. So, well, we weren't even in them ones. Yeah, we weren't in the normal ones. But on the way up to the parachute, we got it just got stuck, and apparently it can happen when something falls onto the track or something. They all just stop. Yeah. And we were just sitting there, and I was like, Ellie was like, and I was like, Ellie, do I even talk about it? Because I, if I talk, if I think about it too much, I will have a panic attack. <laughs> Just looking down. Oh, I just had to watch the TikToks to the tra- I do that in every situation. Just watch TikTok to take yeah, your mind off things. Yeah. Blood test TikToks. Yep. Like piercing TikToks. Any major life incident? TikTok. TikTok. Yep. <laughs> Love. Brain rot. Yeah. <laughs> Love. It's giving brain rot. Um, you're, we never caught up on Easter weekend either. Yeah. You went out. At a ball. Yeah. Hung over. Oh. Bad. Oh. Which one was worse? Uh, the first one. Definitely. Because yeah, I, fe- I felt the first one and I said, I'm not letting that happen again. So I didn't oh. really let it happen on the second okay, one. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we just went to the uh, local the first night on Friday night. Yeah. Heavy tack. Why did you have too many? What drinks were you having? Everything. I was drinking Guinness oh, and all at one point. Oh. What? Did you buy it? Like, I can't remember. remember. No idea. It was really, really bad. And what's that? No, I think we got in at like six or something. Oh. Next morning. Why did you go somewhere afterwards? Yeah. Where? I'm just... La, la, no one talking about it. La, 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 la. <laughs> um, yeah, got in stupid o'clock the next morning and s- I slept until four o'clock that day. That is so unlike me. Like, usually I can just get up. I have my cold shower with my hangover and it, like, fixes Seriously? me for a while. Yeah, I just gaslight myself into thinking that I'm fine. Like, it's fine. Yeah, I, do. I just lie to myself. Yeah. And Quiva's like, will you have, Will you stop lying? Like, I'm like, no, Quiva, you need to lie through a hangover to just get yourself... Or else you'll just... Or else you will just rot. rot. Yeah. yeah, but I slept until four o'clock that day, which is so... I woke up and it was 10 to four. I said, what? I'm, have I just slipped into a light coma? God, like, yeah. I... That is so unlike me. So I got up. We drove to KFC. Probably shouldn't have driven. Anyway, drove to KFC. Couldn't even eat that, which is so unlike me as well. That Yeah. When do you ever see me like that? Wow. Never. So that was a really bad hangover. So I was like... Can't. And then on the Sunday, we went out again to a pub and 
told myself, I said, I'm not letting that happen okay. again tomorrow. I'm not having a waste of a day. So I think that night we got in at about four. That wasn't too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. And I was drinking water and all. Two hours different. <laughs> Two hours different. But four and six is a big difference. It is. I agree. It was still dark. I agree. Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, it was yeah. starting to get light. Yeah. And I was like, mm, nah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nah. So, yeah, but ball. What else I, have we been doing? I was, when I seen everyone out on Easter weekend, I was like, oh, I'd love a drink. But then I was like, no. When I saw you were message saying I'd love a margarita, I yeah. think I was in and out of that like sleep. Sleep. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I thought oh, you were dreaming. On. I was like, I'm only seeing this now. Shit. I'm uh, all wind with you. No, I would well, you know what and I realised when I was craving the margarita, I was like, I haven't drank one ending all day. So I was obviously parched. Oh, for, you were just parched. Parched. <laughs> just dehydrated. No, I was like, why not? And I was looking at the bottles in my fridge, it was a whisper and angel still there. I think did you get me that? I don't know. Why do I have me in case I need it? Yeah, it's there anyway. I oh, know Sophie got me, and it was in there. And I was like, "Why am I fucking cr-? like? I've Pray never drank by myself." I was like, and then I realised it's seven o'clock. And I haven't had one drink all one day. Ounce of water. Not even nothing. Not even a sip of oh, anything. No. Yeah, you were dehydrated. Yeah, it was. Your brain was going to Lulu on you. My brain was like, "Need salt and spice." Need anything? Yeah, but I just had a chill weekend. So I need a. Do you ever just be like, "If I actually drink now, I'll spontaneously decombust." No, I wouldn't. No, I would have. Something wrong. I needed. Yeah, it, I needed time. I'm off it now. Yeah. Dry April. I am. I'm having dry you're April. Gonna, you're not drinking in Australia. Doesn't count. It's not in Ireland. <laughs> dry first two weeks of April. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. need it. I, yeah. I really, really need it. Yeah. The anxiety is just not worth it. Oh, I just get real anxious. And I didn't don't even do that in bad, but it's just that I feel. No, like yeah, I don't. Thing. Yeah, I just. And do you know what I do? I think I lied to myself about. Well, I hope I lied to myself about conversations I've had with people. You pretend they didn't happen, like yeah. Or like, if I think of a conversation that happened with someone, I'm like, nah. Please. Yeah, I'm like that didn't happen. Don't worry. I must have dreamt that one. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good way to do it. But also, I feel like sometimes the other person might forget. And then also, a few days later, you really realise who actually gives a fuck. Yeah. Like, get on with life. Like, yeah. we're on a floating rock. Yeah. What's the worst thing that you're, you, that you're anxious said. about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as everyone's still alive. But you might have well. overshared a little bit. Yeah. Oh, get over it. Like, I want, who you're not that. No, I actually didn't. Oh, I not this weekend. Okay, really yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, no, I stopped myself. Don't okay, cool. Yeah, stopped myself. There was, a, there, was one, well, there was one thing we couldn't tell anyone. I told the nation. And yeah, was it the live shows? No, it was oh. something. And it was like, who else wants to know? <laughs> it was like, I found a little bit. I was on a, on a night out being like, everyone gather around. Let me tell Top you. Top secret information, come round. You want to hear it? I'll tell you. It's <laughs> something wrong with me. But I, act, yeah, yeah. I went out with a mission last weekend to say, oh, I can't be doing that now yeah. anymore. When you have it in your head, then you don't. And then you don't feel bad the next day. No. Or anxious the next day. No, I felt no. grand. Ball of a weekend. So that was Easter. I love when you have fun. Then it's like yeah. a good word to hang over. Yeah, it was a, it was a fun night. So yeah. I was like, oh, I don't even care. Yeah. The, the hang, I'm, I'm allowed to have a hangover. Yeah. Because I had a ball. It's so. deserved. Yeah. yeah. You're nearly like just rotten there. Yeah. Yeah. My few page, a lot of it is Brooke and Tana as well. Their podcast. Is it? Yeah. I love the clips that come up from them. Because they're always lo- so good. But they're always long. They're quite long. I get long ones. So I like them. I put them on during the shower. Yeah. Oh, that'll keep me yeah. entertained for a while. That's coming up for me. Um, what else? Mine is just mukbangs. mukbangs. My mouth is actually Mine isn't that salivating. anymore. Salivating. I haven't salivating. watched them in a while. <sighs> it's a lot of sushi ones now, mm-hmm. which I'm surprised about. But I see the meat and, and I don't like the thing you eat the sa- salmon maki. Is that what it is? I love salmon maki. I don't like that. Oh, but seeing people eat that, I'm like, oh, Makes I you want to have it. Eat that really right now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, or it's a, a lot of chicken ones. Who's your man? Keith Lee. I like him as well. He comes up a lot. Love of him. I love. I him. got it. Let's read it. And one to ten. Yeah, I yeah. like that. Just how I feel like that's that repetitiveness is like good. Like yeah, he does that in every video. Yeah, you'll know you know him for that. Like, it's like a even slogan. just like when he eats something, it makes you want to eat it. I just love watching people eat dirty chicken or seafood boils. Oh, that used to be my thing. We need to go to Korea and get seafood boils. I know. Can we go there? But also, I feel like, yeah, we should give it to pre book actually. Oh, because we have to get the seafood in? I think so, yeah, or like pre make it. And is it on, do they spread it onto the table? I bloody hope they do. I hope so, because I want to make a mess. Like, I don't want to be like, like that. Yeah, dainty. No, yeah, I want, why dainty. I wear gloves and a bib? I want to go no makeup on. Yeah, yeah. Like tracks in the room. Yep. And mill. If anyone knows where to get a good seafood boil in Dublin. Yeah. I remember during lockdown they were delivering them. There was one in Tallet and one in Clindalkin that I found. 
and it was somebody in a house. That's giving food poison. No, it looked massive. Oh what my do you god! Mean something it was just someone's gaff. Yeah, well, like she had loads of reviews and all. It was like I think it was oh, yeah, fair. like a family run thing, or maybe did they have a restaurant and because it was locked down, they had to close it or something. Yeah, I don't know. But they were. Um, what if something had no no gone? reviews and it was just in their gaff? Would you? <laughs> What if like See this is where my anxiety jumps in Like What if Someone bit, starts up this fake restaurant Just to poison everyone and kill them Well I'm sure they have to have like Food safety tests before they no, do I don't Serve know. food I don't think they do Yeah you do Health and safety I think in. no I think I saw a guy Yeah I did see a guy He's the guy who does all the pranks And he's like blonde You ever see him on YouTube? No I can't remember his name Well he like He set up his own like fake Restaurant And like signed up to Uber Eats and all And just to deliver it Like Made Shut it up. Kitchen, I swear to God you can don't just do that. I don't know how, like, yeah. Not for, like, Just Eat would be restaurants, but, like, Uber Eats, I'm pretty sure. It's like signing up for Uber to be a driver. I could Uber Eats to... for my gaff, them toasties <laughs> that I make, them banging toasties. Oh, that came up in my, in my, uh, mem- in not my memories. I was looking back at my pictures on the plane, like, don't you have nothing else to do? And the toasty came up, oh. and I was like, my mouth was... <laughs> and I came to your, to Diva, to you. I don't know why you were there, but I don't know why I came. Were you, I had, I had were been you out con- separately? Yeah, I'd been at a concert. But I think there was a reason you were there. Indeed. I don't think you just went. I don't think you were just attending. I think you'd been at something as well, but it wasn't. Was I wearing I was a at. red dress? Yeah. I was at a christening. Yes, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah, yeah. I knew there was a reason you were there. Because, yeah, yeah. And I was wearing, I was in town at a three. You had a long hair. You had a ponytail. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I was, I everyone else was all glam and I'm like cargo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and like runners or something. Um, yeah, I think we could do do that that's the maddest thing I've ever heard yeah now we had to like pretend it was a restaurant he had to call it something but it was operating from his house yeah my mum should start doing that for her garlic potatoes because they're yeah absolutely smashing oh, do it for your toasties you make a bank they'd be freezing I would oh do you know I crave gorillas all the time oh, with the little flaky salt <gasps> oh my god no stop I'm absolutely famished now I'll we'll start talking about food and I'll be my starving in the car on the way home I have Pilates after this. I'm gonna scrap your Pilates. We go bambinos. Come on, or Uno Mas. What is Uno Mas? Uno Mas. What oh. is it? I don't know. I need. I can't <laughs> try it. Don't, I actually don't know what it is. I don't know why I'm slagging. I don't even know. I'm not slagging it. it is. What's that? What's that? Is it a a it sound is. or something? Yeah, it is. That was going around. Or no, it was those people just saying they loved Uno Mas, but nobody really knew what it was. Was it just a restaurant? Yeah, I think people were slagging that. Everyone's giving the same answers for everything. No, Uno I want to try that Bambino. Manny pizza. We passed that. Is that on South William Street? Drury Street, I think. I get after my Pilates. Just hang around oh. town. I'm Wait for me to be done. Only 50 minutes. That's so long. Remember I sat outside of <laughs> class with you before? <laughs> we went. What was that? Pilates? We booked before Pilates. Pilates. Well, I, I'd booked it. I thought I booked it and <laughs> didn't. And you were on the way. <laughs> I was fucking on some waiting list. It was the most mortifying experience. Oh my lord! Did you ever see that that TikTok video of the little girl and she's like, "I'm mortified." Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, she's Frank so cute. Mortified. <laughs> well, I was mortified. Uh. Like, like Scarlett, your one was like, "There's actually no space today, so you're, like I can put you on a weight." I said, "You know what? Be <laughs> it fine." I said, "That's <laughs> grand with me. You're all right." Sat in the car, w- walked back to the car. I was like, "Sharp, collect you in an hour." <laughs> walked back to the car, put the seat the whole way back, feet open. I was just on TikTok for an hour. I felt like a fucking moron I felt like an idiot I really did book it you must have said waitlist when you pressed it I'd say yeah and I was just like oh yeah books deadly Scarlet for me yeah because I think you still pay that's why it's kind of confusing because you still pay but then you get the money back obviously if you don't get it no I got a full refund yeah 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 (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. if you don't get to do it no Scarlet for me me chilling in the car in my gym gear just after dropping my child off and just waiting for her (laughs) Yeah, I'm too lazy to do it. Walked in and said, "You know what? You ah. don't the first day. Remember we both tried it for the first yeah, time once, and I was yeah. like, did you like it? No, you did. It's all right. Like, but yeah, like, it wouldn't be running back to him. I really like it. I like how slow it is. No, I'd like spin class more. Listening to me as I'm running on the treadmill. I need to do this. I'd like to do a spin. Yeah, come to one of them and I need to. I need to go back to the gym. What am I doing? Hey, what are you gonna do? What's your like? I don't, I'd like to do PT again. I'd like to still go where I was going for the cla- spin classes and stuff. Yeah. But I think I might want to join like a big gym now. Because mm. then I can get you. Find a like, lovely man. Might find a lovely man. Yeah. There we go. That's a good uh, environment. Yeah. But also swimming pool and sauna. Oh my God. Yeah. I went yeah. for the first time last week. 
an ice bath. I think my one has a sunbed too. So listen, we're win, win, win. And sunbed? Yeah. In the gym? Yeah. So we could go win, win, win. Yeah. I just don't know how comfortable I feel wearing a swimming hat. Do you not wear a swim hat? Do you not? I didn't wear a swim hat. In the swim pool? Yeah, I didn't wear Oh, sorry, no. In yeah. The, I didn't go to the pool. Why didn't you What do you mean? In the sauna, you thought yeah. you had to wear a swimming hat. <laughs> I sat in the gym. I'm rocking in there. Hi, guys. Hi. No. I went, I just done. Oh, this is what I done. So, um, I went with so- Sophie, Sean and Aaron. And we done the, what do we do first? The sauna? Then the they done the ice bath. I didn't get into it straight away. I was scared. Love an ice bath. So, yeah, so I went straight from sauna to the steam room. Then the ice bath for a minute. Okay. Oh my god, it was cold. But I felt great after it. And then the jacuzzi. So refreshing. And I was so well. Like my body felt like Lucy Goose. in the nicest way. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's why I'd want to join a big gym. But then I also did love the PT because then if I went to a commercial gym, how much am I? I know I'm gonna go up there and just walk on a treadmill. For 45 minutes and then You wouldn't go honestly, home. You won't I wouldn't know what to do You would I'd be scarlet Why? Everyone's You done with that machine? Like no, oh Just don't ask Just don't, just just don't, don't ask no. you just wait just, Yeah oh. I'd just be like I'll just mind a step from waiting today If too many people are waiting on her <laughs> I can't I might actually do that tonight To the sauna in the steam room Yeah Yeah Put me to sleep Oh yeah Yeah That's a good Lovely Anything that you love In that you can think of top of your head in fashion or beauty or something you've tried? Mm, my beauty stuff isn't all that new. A lot of my stuff that I use, I like. I years years. can't remember the last time I bought, well, I buy new makeup, but it's it's rebuys of things that I like. You know really? I mean? yeah, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't necessarily go out of the way and buy loads of new stuff. Mm. Well, actually, I have new stuff at home, actually, that I haven't tried. But, um, yeah, no, I nothing really... Stick I love it. I'm oh, loving really my skin tint lately. Are you? Yeah. You skin tint, girl? I'm now? wearing skin tint now. Shut the front door. Yeah. What one? YSL. <gasps> Sounds beautiful. Oh, is but it it's actually only like, it's 20 euro. It's, I thought like, well, I looked it up as I go on. Sorry, I'm thinking of SR Lauder. Yeah, it's like a tube. It's is like it? tube. But I thought it was in, like 50 euro. It's like 20, like, which I think is like, <laughs> yeah. fairly standard. For, yeah. like, like, that's not even like Mac prices or anything, but the YSL one's lovely. Yeah, really nice. Oh yeah, good have camera now. You can see. I'm wearing. <laughs> Don't it. see myself as much of a skin tint gal. I'm really? an all or nothing kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I felt like I was wearing like too much then or something during the day. I didn't feel like I looked different going out. Yeah, true. So now I like having the difference out. I'll probably always go back, but I just like even for my foundation, it's a bit lighter. It's the Luminous Silk Giorgio Armani. Oh yes, yes, I love that. Love. It's real light. Mm. And the new Cash Primer. I'm a Nars Na- Natural Radiant. Long wear, long wear, radiant, whatever the long name that. is. That's nice. Lash that on me. But then I have to no. I haven't used that in a while because I, then I went to the Cheer Glow. No, no, no. The other one, Luminous Silk. No. Light, light, light reflecting. Light reflecting. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. I'm just a coverall. I still do my makeup like it's 2016. I really do. It's so funny. What? Like your steps? Not yeah, yeah. Like everything is just the exact. Did you carry your brows? You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, girl. I need to get a good brush for that. Can't not carve my eyebrows. I would look a hot mess. I wouldn't feel like me. I feel undone, like, of my steps and how I do them. Just try what it one day and see if I know it. You would. I don't think I would. How can you not carve your eyebrows out? Like, you just draw it on and then what do you do? Just leave it? Leave it. But what if it's a bit out of skew? See, that's why you carve it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you can't. But with the lashes, my makeup has literally taken me two seconds. No time. Yeah. But I don't want to get into loving these. Why? Because I like doing eyeshadow on all. I can't do eyeshadow with this. Why? Oh, it gets all stuck in the end and all. Mm. It's not nice. So you can put it on, but you can't get it off properly. Yeah, it just doesn't look look done. Can't yeah. wear eyeliner on with this. Oh, shit, yeah. Like, up there. Yeah. They're but really I nice. feel so done when Is I put makeup on. Is that your fave then at the moment? Lashes? There we go. Well done. Yeah. Yeah, that's your treatment of choice. That's my treatment of choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need to go back and get my Botox soon as well, actually. Yeah, I got it like very soon. Four or five months ago now. Yeah, we're we're Mine's really gone. wearing off here. Look at that. What? Oh, oh. Are you seeing that wave pool on my head? Nah. Only one of my foreheads goes up. Jimmy? Sorry. Why didn't your right one go up? Yeah. I raise both of them. I hate doing that because I feel like it's going to just get... I can only raise one eyebrow, can you? 
Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I can't raise this one. That's why I like taking pictures on this side of my face because I can raise this eyebrow. Oh, that's see, my bad side is the one where I can raise the eyebrow. Oh, is it? But I, re- I always actually, been my bad side. I always relax my eyebrows for a picture, though. I think. I don't know. I don't know. When I, I smile, I, I think yeah, I automatically yeah, yeah. go. All right, like, who are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that would be my faves. I just haven't, I haven't reached that foundation. Oh, I love the hourglass stick one as well. You do? You bought that in a mad shade though, didn't no, you? No, I bought it in the wrong one, but it actually matches my skin perfect when I have a tan. Oh, oh. When I have a tan, yeah. Now, that's quite full coverage, but I just use less of it. Yeah. And it's not that easy to see my freckles. I think as long as I can see the freckles, I feel like it's not full. It's like medium. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of both. Um, Australia. Australia, girl. Good eye, mate. Good eye. We went for Australia for three weeks at the beginning of January. Yes. We flew out. a lifetime ago. We flew out in the second. I was, yeah, it is. It was the second, wasn't it? That was very early on. Mm -hmm. Mm. But one thing about flying out in January is you can't get any of your appointments done. Yeah, it was a a terrible time. It was, we didn't really think about that. Yeah. I got nothing done. No, my nails, that was it. I think my nails were my Christmas set. Yeah. I got my lashes done. I don't know how. They were, were they open? Yeah. They would have been, But I yeah. think I got them done before New Year's maybe, did I? Yeah. I don't know. Whatever way we had to work them around, it was, um, yeah, you had to get all your appointments done before yeah. Christmas. That was the only bad thing about that, but we had a ball. It was honestly the trip of a lifetime, an experience of a lifetime. I just bloody loved it. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to talk a little bit about now. It was so we went. Good. We went to see Oz, but also we have friends there. Yeah. So a good few of my friends lived there and Sean. Sean. There as well. My brother had just brother moved there. over. Yeah. I have family over there. And as, it's sad, as, as sad as it is when friends move over, it's an excuse to go. To go if yeah. you can. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like we picked a good, well, yeah, we picked a good amount of time to go as well. We tried to squeeze in as much traveling as we could in the middle of it. Yes. We definitely could have done more days in certain places. I agree. But also, I feel like in the time that we were there, we saw a lot. We did. We saw a lot. We did a lot. lot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were cramming things in, fitting things in, so. Yeah. We booked a kind of... So we booked on our flights ourselves just through, like, the website. So Emirates. Yeah, and they were absolutely ridiculous money. They were were expensive because of the time of year because people, obviously, they were... No, we booked it five weeks before going. Maybe I think, don't. Do I, that. I think either way. Is it? Would have been yeah, because that was when people come back home from Christmas. True. And they know that they can get them. Oh f- yeah. For, and Christmas time flying anywhere is expensive. Yeah, it was the time of year. It was so that very was expensive. Spending. So we flew for seven hours to Dubai. Mm-hmm. And then twelve hours to Sydney. Was it twelve on the way over? Yeah. It was fourteen on the way back. Holy Mongolia. Long. That was a lot. Very, very long. Um, And then we actually surprised Megan and Sean by a day. So they thought, mm. by the way, we kind of calculated, we, they thought we were coming the day after we came. Yeah. And we just, um, yeah, told them that and then showed up <laughs> at the doors. Megan was making a sign or something, wasn't she? Megan, the airport? Yeah. God, love she was collecting the next morning. Yeah. Like, and we actually landed 10 that night. So, thank god she was still awake and like sitting up and Jordan collected us and brought us in our phones weren't working actually oh anyone going over to Australia or anywhere actually our manager Sarah only told us about this app the other day called Nomad that you can download oh yeah and you can get an eSIM yeah probably should have asked her before we went hi do you know any eSIM apps because that would have saved our life yeah we had no internet no yeah, and we needed internet to go basically and find our key for our apartment, find the code. Got I think the tax man for the apartment. Yeah, I got scammed for the fucking tax as well. Yeah. Definitely, as soon as yeah. the two of us got out, he was like, plus 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 plus, plus, plus forty dollars. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that was yeah. Prepare yourself to either not have Wi Fi or have it. Like, yeah. Sort yourself out before you got off the plane to maybe screenshot everything. But and yeah, we had two like. Couple. 25 kg cases each and then the Airbnb first of all we had to collect the keys I'd never stayed in Airbnb before before, but we got keys we went to the door and got up like I'd say it's like five steps or something got into that apartment then tried to put the key in the wrong door well the key the number on the key says one so we were putting the key into apartment number one 
obviously, obviously. shaking like, the door handle and all. I couldn't check what number we were on Airbnb. Yeah, it did say seven on that. It did say seven, but we pres- couldn't well, see. Well, he said he one. said one. So yeah, well, one obviously. This is obviously where we are. Yeah. Then when region or then when we found out what apartment we were in, we had to log two twenty five GK two twenty five kg cases mm-hmm. up these huge stairs. Huge stairs. Apartment on the inside was gorgeous. And I had the boots along this point. You did. Apartment yeah, was my lovely though. Yeah. Yeah, it was lovely. Location perfect. It's called Turtle Shell. Turtle Shell, yeah. <laughs> What's Turtle Shell? On Airbnb, yeah. yeah. Right in, bang in the centre of Coogee. Coogee. We and love Coogee. we wake up in the morning. We were obviously jet lagged. Actually, the first night we weren't. No, so we landed at 10. We went to sleep that night at three and woke up at like eight o'clock. Mm. Yeah, but we slept on the plane as well though. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that yeah. wasn't, so we got our normal night's sleep, then slept more to kind of fit into their time zone. Yeah. And then got up for the day and then the next, by the next night we were fine. We were grand, yeah. It was fine. The day, like, was not bad. Was over. not bad. No, one Coming bit. back, I was fucked for a while. I was a bit groggy. I yeah. was fucked for a lot. Like, I didn't feel mm. right at all. It gets worse when you're going back that way. Um, we wake, woke up and... We went out to Coogee the first morning. I think it was like, maybe it was actually seven because it was really early. But the whole place, oh, the place within seconds, Coogee. you feel awake because everyone's awake. The place is booming. The place is like, it's middle, 12 p.m. on hell? a Sunday day in Dublin. We went to a, a little cafe most mornings around the corner. What was it called? The Courtyard. Oh my God. I want their hash browns right now. Oh, the salmon. <sighs> Their breakfast yeah. was unbelievable. Yeah, that was nice. I really, really enjoyed that now every morning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the juices in any, like, anywhere you turn would have a juice. Juice bar. Or sushi bar. Sushi bar. Yeah. Like, the food. And it's, you know, it's the only place I've ever been to that I've said, food. based on the food, I could actually live here. Because, yeah. like, I like the food in Spain and all, but it's not the same as home. I feel like you never feel, um... Not nourished. What's the word I'm looking for? Satisfied. In the, satisfied. In the same way. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But like all the food in Australia, more than satisfied. Yeah. Yeah, it was That's so nice. nice. And sushi every day. You really did eat mogo, that every mogo. day. Or mogo mogo. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it was so nice. You really did. So Koji is, is it Koji or Koji? I think it's Koji, but we were saying Koogie for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were saying it wrong or whatever That's where called. like all the Irish live. Oh my God. Everywhere you turn, I met Quiva who I went to school with. On one of the roads, I was like, I wouldn't even see her going around in Dublin. No, if Mountain Gar jerseys down there as well. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah, like, literally everyone just is out around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just the accent, you don't feel far from home, really. No. Um, it was gorgeous. And then we stayed with, no, you went to Melbourne. I no, did. you went to Melbourne. Sorry, we traveled first. We traveled first. Traveled yeah. first. Um, so we went with my adventure project. They organized tours mm-hmm. and they brought us on. It's kind of customized. So if you, if you have like a certain amount of days. Yeah, because we, they want, they originally said 10 and we said seven. Yes. Because I wanted to go to Melbourne. Yeah. Melbourne. So we wanted to see as much of the East Coast as we could in them seven days. So we don't care. Cans. Cans. Yeah, apparently it's cans, but like. They I, just don't pronounce the R. But I don't know, was that their accent? But then I asked and they Cans. said, no, it's not our accent. Oh, it's just, they say can. Cairns. Cairns, I was calling it. Cairns, like, Cairns we called it. Just... <laughs> then we went to... Early, early beach. beach. No, Early Beach was first. Oh, was it? Then Magnetic Island, then Cairns, and then flew back from Cairns. Did we? Yeah. Yeah. What was the bus we nearly missed? Oh, the bus to Cairns. Let's start in Early Beach. Oh, like, God. <laughs> at Early Beach, we got there by plane. We flew to Prosper Point. Pro- oh, yeah, Prosper, yeah. Prosper Point yeah. Airport, which you literally, I think there's one gate in the whole airport. There was one baggage belt. You walk out and there you are. Then I felt very, very sick for the days previous and I was panicking that I was pregnant. Yeah. I I, I convinced myself. Yeah. We were I like, did. what are we going to, we're going to have to go home. I was like, I'm going to have to leave the whole holiday. Yeah. Like, I can't. And I felt so sick. And then we landed in Prosper Point, got the period. So Woo! Holiday was Holiday was Woo! on. Holiday on. <laughs> holiday mode on. Um, Got to Early Beach. So we <laughs> we went to the hostel and... I'm not going to lie, guys. We absolutely hated it. We didn't stay there. We didn't stay. We didn't even bring our cases up the stairs. I'm we sorry. Didn't. And also, we were told that we would hate it by the... Yeah. So basically... We were warned. This was all that was left. Go, listen, go basically so have in, a look. When you go to anywhere, it's... There's hostels and there's some nicer ones. There's some ones that are literally like probably five dollars a night or something like like buttons. Two. And 
the only one that was left because we booked it quite like we said five weeks in advance yeah. was that one and <laughs> even the guys at my event project were like look it's not the best we'll just see what you think whatever Um, we went we had to first of all go up steps again and carry the suitcases my suitcase broke at this point your suitcase was already had one, broke I had one wheel <laughs> then didn't I break mine and broke my nail as well yes did I yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. broke my nail fuming nothing yeah. worse so I was already pissed off about that then we had to go to the room at the very back of the... Oh, we couldn't have been further away. Oh, give us the <laughs> furthest room you have there, love. Thank you. And it was up these flight of stairs and we were like, right, fuck it. We'll leave the bags here and go up and have a look at the flight of stairs. Yeah. When I tell you we walked in, I said, Char, out. Yeah. I'm I could, sorry. If I... It was the condoms in the side locker and all. Yeah, I was just it was like, given oh. like of its sleeves, wasn't it? Like, oh, I just... Oh, there was no shower curtain. There was... It, it, it was... We was, post a picture on that wondering page. Can we? Because it was dingy. Oh, we need to show them the and oh, the toilet roll had a big had one of them dispensers that you get in <laughs> in the pub. In the pub, like, yeah, the big circular ones that you twist around to get the next roll. No, I'm sorry, now lads, the place like if I have somewhere to put my head, then again, Creva just call me a hotel snob. Well, I'm also, not. I'm not a hotel snob. You're not. But I nearly would you have stayed there. We were sitting on the bed, and all at one stage, and you were like, I can't even sit on this bed. Yeah. If you yeah, and I'm and lights. I'm really not a yeah. Have one of them blue lights, a place with a lit up like Do you know what I don't firework. I don't care where you say it, as long as it's clean, but I didn't feel clean in there. That place was not clean. It was not clean. It was not nice. Couldn't. And the big the wardrobe had a big hole in the wall. Apparently they said that the shit because this was a private room that we had. But apparently they said that the shared rooms are better because they're cleaner. I don't know how that oh. really works. But I don't know. Yeah. That probably makes sense. I don't know. But anyway, we got out of there ASAP Rocky yeah. and booked a hotel. <laughs> yeah. Had to. I had to. I'm really bad. sorry. No, actually, I'm not even sorry. No. Who am I saying sorry to? And also, the hotel wasn't even nice either. It was just clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, there was no one even on reception. No one was ever working. Oh, no one worked in the They place left them. after 6 p.m. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing Best ever. Best hours ever. Like, so strange. You know, when you work in a hotel, there's always people floating about. And like, then again, there was like, it wasn't, thought, that it, wasn't a hotel. Like, there was no like, you don't. You didn't eat there. Or it was kind of like a hostel hotel, but a bit fancier. Yeah, a glorified. Like, yeah, a glorified hostel with a lift. <laughs> with a lift. With a lift. But even the room smelled a bit like Nana, and <laughs> I was like, oh no, it grants it's, it's clean. Like it doesn't look like the Google Images. But it's fine. Oh. So we stayed there, pissed rain our first day, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. And do we have the tour? Do we have some booked first? Oh, we had nothing to do the first day. So we decided ourselves, amongst ourselves, to book a uh, glass bottom oh, boat. Fuck's sake. <laughs> so we said, right, grand, we're going this. So fun. Oh. Like, we'll see all the creatures, like, cute. Paid like 90 bucks each or something, like, and went on the thing. And there's loads <laughs> of people on it. We were so excited. Glass bottom boat sitting there, a little glass of champagne, or for Seco, sorry. And we didn't see one creature. Not one. Not even a fish. The thing was murky. The AF. Glass. You couldn't see. I was like, anything. do you think we'll see a crocodile? He was like, sometimes I was like waiting to see a big croc come up and there was just nothing. No. Coral. $180 to for be coral. swindled. <laughs> yeah, we saw loads of coral and I was like, oh, I can Google. <laughs> and this. after like 10 minutes, we got so sick with that. We all just started talking to each other. <laughs> we made friends, this family. None of us. Oh, yeah. We all Irish just family. We all just turned our back yeah. to the. Uh, no, I'm not even looking down this hole Irish? anymore. From Adelaide. Oh no! Where were they from? From Adelaide. We just kept calling them family. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. We, we dinner just, we're like my family. <laughs> um, yeah, we just uh, we just ended up drinking them, talking to them. Yeah, just literally turn around, and then there was another family as well. That's that tragic. No, there was a lovely lady on that who was obsessed with you. Remember, she was taking pictures of you. Oh my all. god, I love her. Yeah. I'll put that in the dump. And, for and we post. had to we have to wave goodbye to her. Oh all, no, my heart. I was like, you're not coming on the bus with us. Yeah. She was like, no, my son's collecting me because her son works on. She's um, so precious. Someone works on ships or something and he like that's why he's in Australia and she just came with, came with him. No. She was by herself. Oh, I'll add it into the jump. She's so fucking cute. Oh, gosh. And I add her on Facebook and all. Do you have a, you, you have a picture of the murky water? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, okay. nothing, no, you can't see a thing. No, okay. We'll add that picture in. Honestly. Then what else did we do? Um, did we leave today after that? We, no. no, we had another day there. What did we do? The plane? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The... Plain view of the Great Barrier Reef. Mm. Unreal. That was deadly. Like, seeing that in person with your own eyes is like, whoa. A must do. Yeah. Yeah. Really emotional. Really, really good. Mm. And 
Then we left Early Beach. We didn't go out on Early Beach, did we? No. No. We were very tired all the time. Tired all the time. What's fucking new? And then went to Magnetic Island. Island. Rented a really cool car. Oh, that was so fun. I loved Magnetic Island. I missed driving. Yeah. So as soon as we got into that, I was like, yippee. Yeah. That was a hard drive, though, wasn't it? Kind of hard drive. Yeah. Also, though, I did have the handbrake on for the first 10 minutes sure, of the drive. That was probably. The thing was beeping at me. Like, that. What's going on? Well, like, this island's so small, you can get from one end of the island to the other in 10 minutes. Tiny. Yeah. And to get to, the, to, get to Magnetic Island, we had to get a bus from. Prosser, from yeah, Prosser Brian. I don't remember how we left her. Sorry, we got it from Early Beach. The bus station. Remember the bus station? We had our bags, and there's video of us on the road again. Yes. Faces that. Okay, that was Early Beach. Yeah, that yeah. Was Early Beach. Left there. Magnetic Island. That's the five-hour bus journey. Yeah. Okay. The hot one. It was hot. Yeah. Yeah, and then we slept on that. I think well. Mm. No, we didn't. No, no, there was a nighttime one. To Karen's What were we watching? Oh, the thing with, oh. um, what's her name? Tommy Da. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Michelle Keegan. We were obsessed with yeah, that. We watched yeah. that on the bus. That kept... Corey the whistle. Yeah. <laughs> that kept... Oh, she just said that. Entertained for a while. Yeah. And then, Magnetic Island, we had no... Oh, we done like a little zoo tour. Got told a snake. Oh, yeah. I got bitten by a march fly. You did? The guy had to slap my leg. I was like... I goes, ah. guys, I'm being bitten while I was holding the snake, so you have to be really calm yeah. with the snake. And then I was like, guys, I'm getting bitten. And no one took me seriously. Yeah, I just slapped again. his leg. He goes, or slapped and that's the only time it's acceptable to slap a guest. A guest. <laughs> <laughs> and that was lovely. Then Magnetic Island, we drank, had a few drinks. Went to a lovely, cute restaurant. Remember the little one? We drove to it. A... I have a terrible memory. The one at the front that we didn't separate. really like the staff. There was one night, and we had a few drinks and the ho- in the hostel one night. And then the other night we had, no, 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 it was really nice. I had like a few fish with like a pea sauce or something. It was like, it looked like it was in a gaff. This little restaurant. Sorry, yeah. yeah the little that was place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah, yeah that, that was Karen. lovely. That was really nice. Yeah. Then, the outdoor area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had no like activities there though, didn't we not? Like, like, I don't think so. I just, yeah, we had, we stayed in this little cabin thing. Um, I had a fight with a lizard. It tell really, it, tell it. It's really traumatizing. Am I allowed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so where we stayed basically in, in this hostel, there was little cabins, little sh- like sheds, wooden. They weren't necessarily sheds, but yeah, wooden little cabins, and that was our room. And how did we even find the lizard? It was on the wall. It was on the We Wasn't found it, a lizard on the wall, right? And I was like, oh my God, we'll catch it and let it go. Like, like the spider trick where you put a glass over the glass over the spider, something underneath it, and then just let it out outside. That's what I was gonna do. So it ended up like on the floor then, and I was like, oh my god, okay, right. Oh no, it was on the wall, and it was like kind of staying still at the wall. And I was like, right, I was they like, run so fast. they run so fast. I was like, I'll just put a glass over, and we'll put a card or something underneath it, and we'll let him outside. So I went like really, really slowly over to him, and as soon as I went to put the glass on him, he ran. And I chopped his tail off. <laughs> and, and he's like, look, look, look. I was like, no, if I look at that, I will get sick. I don't make me look at that. Don't make me look at that. So the lizard fell. His tail fell. The lizard was fine. He was chilling. And now, when I say lizard, I mean it was a little... Baby little... Not that that makes a difference. But yeah, it wasn't a big, like... There's huge. no blood, though. They don't bleed. It's no, not bleed. so... His tail and his body were both separate to each other on the floor. And I was screaming. She was like, screaming. Look, look. I was like, no. oh, look, it's wriggling. Look. So his tail is still going 90 on the ground. And I, I didn't was like, what even the hell? Yeah, it was And he was just like sitting there. And then he ran under the bed. And I was like, oh my God. And then his tail was still there. So I Googled it. Guys, I'm not a, a lizard killer. They grow they back. They grow back. Yeah. They grow back. There's no blood around them. They grow back. They're just like. A bit of trauma for the lizard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just poor fella. He said, right. Do you know what? I'm going to get you, bitch. And then that night, we were in bed. And I was like, because we didn't catch him. We were still in the room. And I was like, Sharp, what are we going to do? And she was like, no, he's probably not around. And th- the air con thing was above our head. <laughs> so I woke up at three o'clock absolutely sweating buckets. Sweating. We yeah, didn't have the air con on. Yeah. So I stood up on the bed, turned on the air con, turned it on. Went back asleep, I think. And an hour later, at four o'clock, I woke up again and I was freezing. Yeah. 
And I, was, I, I knew I was awake and I checked the time or whatever and I was just kind of lying there. and as Waiting I, to get up. Yeah. yeah, waiting to be like, right, oh, yeah, must rub the, the brain power there to yeah. get up and turn that off again because you're so cold. And I was just lying there and all I feel is like... <laughs> and I shot up out of the bed and I was like... <laughs> I was like, Charlie, Charlie. And I was like, I was like, <gasps> and I was like, what, what? <laughs> I didn't know what had happened. I was just sitting at the end of the bed crying. No, she was, no, she was standing on the bed, <laughs> sobbing, crying, flicking her hair. I was like, and I thought she was sleepwalking. So I was like, it's okay, just go back to bed. Like, because usually like I've slept cock before and I'm panicking and I'm panicking over nothing. <laughs> I was like, it's okay, just get back in bed. And you're like, no, the lizard I, was on my head. I kept flicking my hair. She was like, what's that fucking <laughs> flicking on <laughs> So then she explained what she was doing. So I knew the lizard was somewhere and she was like, flick on her head. I was like, hey, if anything, it's going to flick onto me, my head. I was trauma. Just hearing and feeling that like, I was like. Oh. And you think it definitely, ha- like it was definitely. Oh, I was not dreaming. I was awake. I was awake. The lizard came back for vengeance. It said, I feel it. Like you. Oh, it was traumatised and I was so scared. It was um, very funny. Yeah. I felt like just sleeping in the car that night then. Oh. All night. no roof like, on the car, didn't we? No. Yeah, true. But that night I felt like just, I had to think I had my covers over my head to sleep the rest of the morning then. Like everyone else was so prepared and like had their backpacks and all their things. Like, oh, only bring necessities. Like, ah, no. Yeah, we have 50 kg between us and we're bringing them. <laughs> bringing them. Oh, no, we only brought one. Remember we left one of Did we? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, yeah, it's 25 each. Still heavy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Trapes in these suitcases up muddy paths and stones and I'd say people are looking at us like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. never Good look yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah they've never done this before and they're like two bimbos yeah two gobshites what are they doing um, we what does bimbo mean is it bad is that bad to say about yourself no people call me on the internet so it's fine Four. Call it <laughs> we yeah so we were saying that actually was a lovely hostel though yeah apart from that lizard we seen koalas in the wild we did behind literally behind, behind our, our cabin yeah um, but the only thing is the toilet is not in your cabin you have to Mm-mm. walk to it and I never wake up during the night to pee but the one night I did was the one night we were staying in this cabin or the mm-hmm. two nights one of them was that night and I had to get up and pee in the dark in the toilet like had to go walk to yeah. the toilet I seen a very scary bird you did a very scary remember all the bugs are all, all the, the ceiling bugs. and then all around in the morning it was stick insects I, it was the light one I thing I don't miss about being back from Australia is like just being afraid of creepy crawlies all yeah, the time. Yeah, just being terrified. But I was very aware, I felt like. Maybe mm. if you live in there a while, it's different when you're in the city, you won't see a thing. Yeah. But when you're in the out... What's it called? Out? The outback. <laughs> the outback. <laughs> uh, then you would. Yeah. I was very aware, I felt like, yeah. Then after early week, mm. or after Magnetic Island... You were going to go to Cairns, and we heard there was maybe another... Oh, yeah, we weren't going to go to Cairns because uh-huh. there was... What's it called? Possibly another trap. What cyclone? It? Cyclone. Yeah. yeah, possibly a cyclone. So we were him and Han about going back to Sydney or not. Back to yeah. Kudji. And I was like, yes, please. Can we go back? Yeah, yeah. Love it. Like, dying to go back. And then we were like, no, fuck it. We'll just go we'll to try. Cairns. And I was like, oh. So we barely made our, tr- our bus. Barely made the bus. We were the last people on the bus. And he was like, you're so late. So I was like, sorry. We like, yeah, we know. We ran ran onto it. And then our hostel in, Car- our hostel in Cairns was lovely. What, where did we get stuck in a shopping centre and had to live there for the day? <laughs> was, what was that? That was the last day of Magnetic Island because we got... Uh, we left in, early. We left really early. We were just done with that place. Yeah, we just said... Because of the yeah. lizards. Yeah. Oh, sorry. We were like, let's that. just leave. And we had to drop the car back early. That's what we it was. We did. We had to drop the car back early and the hostel was gorgeous in Cairns. It really clean. Like, now when I say gorgeous, I just mean a bed and a bathroom and just clean. Yeah. It was and there was a ki- like a communal kitchen and all that. We, was, that was yeah, a lovely I cooked, place. I cooked bull that carbonara noodles. And the what the fuck did I try and cook? And it was beef, looking like dog food. We didn't find any oil and we couldn't. <laughs> oh yeah, can't use everything into the pan. I was like, yeah, oh, sure, I'm not eating that. Um, that was nice. And then, Cairns is. Oh no, are we done the Great Barrier Reef snorkeling? Yeah, snorkeling the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, oh my I god, I forgot about early beach. We done the Whit Sundays tour. Remember oh, the boat? Did. That was cool. Because we rock. just basically did so bloody much with it. This we is all within a week. Yeah, this is only a see. week of yeah. the three week holiday. Oh, yeah. So, and then Cairns, we've done two. We didn't see much of Cairns. We've seen just two tours. So, we've done the Great Barrier Reef tour. So, mm-hmm. we go out on the boat and snorkel. It was amazing. Oh. We've seen a huge turtle. Oh. He was like the one from Finding Nemo. Yeah. Like, so nice. Jellyfish everywhere. 
but we had to we had to wear stinger suits so we don't die. He was putting them in my hands, remember? Yeah, they're ones that aren't that bad. Yeah, that I don't yeah. kill you. So that was cool. Then the next day we did a waterfall tour. Oh yeah, lash rain. Lash and rain. And we got attacked by leeches. Oh. They were all over us. Mm. They were absolutely disgusting. You might see them, we put them on our story. They're just these really little wormy things that literally just eat your blood. They whatever. like, and they get, they're black and they yeah. get bigger and bigger and bigger whilst uh, they suck whilst blood. your blood. So they were all over us. I got bitten on the, on the back of my heel and between my toes. Mine was on my ankle. Remember that girl? I was like, I'm going to get sick, I'm going to get sick, I'm going to get sick. And your mum was like, me. And then Ellie's like crying. I was, like, I was crying. Like, I was like, gonna get it. And she, 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 she was like, it's okay. And she came out with a credit card and she just flicked it off. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, you have to like scrape it off. Oh, it's in your mouth. Mm. They were awful. I good. have to use this tea tree spray afterwards to like get rid of the sting or something. <laughs> but like seeing something wiggly on your for is disgusting. I think it's not even seeing it really. Like if I saw a little worm on me or a ladybug or like something like that, I'd be like, ah, terrified of butterflies. Don't like if a butterfly landed on me. It's the fact you know what they're doing. They're sucking your blood. Yeah. That's I, what makes it scary. Yeah. And you ever see them in like The Simpsons and they're just scary? They're huge. And the way they suck. The big thick thing. Yeah, like, I wonder yeah. is that a different type of them? But basically they can sense your body heat and they can fall from trees and all and stick on you. And we're rocking around this forest and, and we're crocs. 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 <laughs> That's how they got all over my fucking toes. Oh. In between them all, there's blood all over my foot. Oh no. Because basically, with them, when they got off your foot, there's blood left. And I was like, Rot. What was red with blood? Like, then that was a nice tour. Slid down a waterfall, mm-hmm. went around. It was very, it was a bit long. A oh, very long tour. Jesus Christ. 12 we were, tour. Yeah, it was 12 hour, 12 hour tour. Very long. Yeah. And then went back to Sydney. I went back to Sydney. You went, you to, went back to Sydney. I went down to Melbourne. To my brother. Yeah. To his house. Can't believe my little brother has a house before me. Fuck you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jack lives at his friends, Clodagh and Tara. In a beautiful house. Mm. It's gorgeous. So I spent a few days down with them. Missed my flight home. Cost me $600. Let's not speak about it. Had a ball down in Melbourne, though. Couldn't live there, though. Not that I'm ever thinking of living in Australia. Well, was I? Well, I do consider it. don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. When, in saying that, though, I'd like... Yeah, I don't know. I didn't get the Australian vibe off Melbourne. It's not the same as Sydney. No, like, yeah. compared to where, I think it's compared to where we were, obviously. Mm-hmm. I just didn't get the, yeah, the vibe off it, but went to Melbourne and then came, we came back to Sydney for like a weekend or something, mm-hmm. wasn't it? By the time I came back, it was like a weekend left. If, yeah, for, three was or four it? days, I think, yeah. Do you think that, you see the hype about Australia, I see it, I actually have seen more now about the opposite, where it's like yeah. people, people are like, oh, it's glamorised. I don't see much of being, maybe I'm not on that side of TikTok, but like, mm. I've seen more bad things and people yeah. saying that people glamorise it rather than actual people glamorising it. Yeah. I feel like. I think that's true. Like, I get people, I get people who do move there, have a bad experience and, and like, share their bad experience. Mm-hmm. But then like, I have to scroll by them really fast because I'm like, no, I'm going back for a holiday. Stop, yeah, stop telling me bad. But things a holiday is different. Yeah, and we, we even said that like when we Very. were there, we obviously went to lo- we met a lot of um, even podcast listeners, yeah, and stuff, and and like other people and stuff. And they said that they're like, oh, would you be tempted to move? I'm like. It's gorgeous, but also when you see it from a holiday perspective, it's very different. Different. When, now, when I was when we were over there, I was like, "Yep, yeah, I'm moving. I'm yeah. sharp. That's it." I was telling my management and all, they were like, oh. "No, no, no!" Like Ellie go. Oh, Ellie was moving to Australia. I was going. Yeah, could still change. Who knows? I don't know. Life is just like. Do you think up in the air? Do you think you could still move to Australia? Not this side of the year. Yeah. Maybe the other side. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I don't know. As in next year? Or well, marry of... me in Dublin quick. Keep Or here. end of this year. Like end of this year, start 25. Really? I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm trying see. to buy a house and all this year. Yeah. And again, I could buy it. Like, I want to buy a house this year in Dublin. So if I buy that and then I'm like, if you need to fuck rent I doing? Like thinking that I could go back there. Yeah. But well, I'm going back in April with my sister. Mm-hmm. So that's fun. That's fun. Yeah. Don't know Which is now. Anymore. April is now. April is now, yeah. yeah. I literally haven't booked a flight. Yeah. But I've looked them up every day. It's fine. Yeah. I just have to wait for my passport to come. Yeah. So, yeah. But, yeah. When I was over there, what was I like? Oh. If you go, if you went at the end of this year, you you would have been Australia three times in a year. Way! Well, <laughs> love it! Love me. <laughs> but I was like, I had myself convinced, like, yeah. while we were over there, I was like, sure, I'm not going home. Yeah. Or I was like, Do I'm going it, home and then I'm coming straight back. Do you reckon a part of you was like, I wish I'd done this like, yeah, 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 years ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think people should go like when they're because, like, remember, um, I do straight out of school, yeah, because remember Jordan's friends, the two of them, yeah, 
the two boys there like eight, were they? no they weren't they were 20 I do straight, straight out of school. school obviously maybe a year saving or whatever like obviously yeah, when you're course. in school you can't yeah. really work but like yeah because I feel like that time of, of your life when you when you leave school I know when I did when I was 18 I had no clue what I wanted yeah. to do you're not meant to mm-hmm. oh you're travelling go and yeah. live in Australia I wish I did it because now I'm like I'm pushing 29 like I'll be 29 this year like it's mm-hmm. really not an ideal age to up well look you can never, you're never too late to do anything up your life to the other side of the world then I also just think I miss my mommy and my daddy a lot yeah. oh my god I'm obsessed with my mom and dad like I'd just be so they'd sad. have empty nests they'd have an empty they'd sell my gaff and I always tell my mom she's not allowed to sell it would they sell it if you went I'd like to do that yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean it's no point you, absolutely no point or rent out all the rooms oh my mom would love to do that new siblings she'd do it tomorrow <laughs> if she could she'd do it. I swear to god she'd do it tomorrow if she could <laughs> but um yeah I get the hype yeah I really do mm. yeah do you I yeah I loved it. I yeah. didn't see the hype of it until I went, but then I'm very ca- careful saying that because it is a holiday and it's different. We when, we didn't have to like if you live there, you have to like go to apartment viewings, like get a job. Get a job. Like, when you're on holiday, you're there doing all the best things. Yeah. Like we saw so many play. We crammed so much into three weeks that it was hard to be like. We, it was we never got bored. No, think of that. No, three and a half weeks or three weeks. We didn't get bored once. Yeah, there was always something to do. We always had something to look forward to. Yeah. You're always like, it's all, it's always an adventure where yeah. if you moved over there to live there, yeah. it's not so much always an adventure. Okay, you might have your ball for a week or two when you get there, but like, yeah, life needs to be life again at some yeah. stage. And it definitely has some of the same problems as Dublin, as in like the housing crisis. Like, yeah, apparently there's no houses over there. No yeah, there's nothing. And then like job wise, but the, the weather then. Oh, Do you know what I mean? But it just makes it like, and yeah. a lot of people that we were. Um, we bumped into a lot of Irish over there and like people were saying the biggest difference that they see between Australia and Ireland is that Australia has so much of a work-life balance. Yes, that like, is nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. and like it is really true. They all do get up so much earlier. I do think that's for the weather though as well. It's too hot in the middle of the yeah, day. So like, yeah, yeah. I don't know, yeah. Whatever way they do it. But like they all go to work early, come home early. But then they all do things after work with each other and all. And like, yeah. you never they, they like that in Dublin. One of their busiest nights over there is a Sunday. So like, they'll yeah. all go out. And I was like, well, what about work? And they're like, well, they don't care about that. Yeah. They, like, they, they care about work, but they also care about having their life. And like, which I think is cool. Some of the Irish people as well were saying that in Ireland, they like, if they did the same job here that they did in Australia, like, Remember when the lads were saying he was like, my manager in work basically had to say, you need to calm down. You're doing too much. <gasps> like, yeah, yeah. That like, oh, you need to relax. Yeah, You'd stop. Never yeah. Told it. yeah, stop. Like you're not. It's not. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like, calm down. You don't. You don't need to be doing all that. Not serious. No. Imagine, imagine that here. Yeah. Apparently, we we give too, too much, much here. Wow. Yeah. But wow, love it. Yeah. I'm gonna rent a car and all when I go back. Yeah, I do. Mm. That'd be good to have like the ease of that. Yeah, yeah. To have the car. I also met my cousins for the first time. You did. That I was the cutest day yeah. ever. She brought me along. That it was, was so adorable. nice. I felt like part of the family. And then I Hi. and then I went out with them again to a gay bar. I can't remember the name, but it was great. Ball. Went. Yeah, so good. Nicki Minaj and I. Aww. I think we need part two of Australian news. No, like just about. We're Let covering. Us know. I know. Nada. Literally. So much happened. So much. Any drama? Happened? We'll do part two. Yeah. And get into secrets and assaults. Okay. Yeah. So we always want to help and give you advice, kind of like conversations you have in the bathroom of a nightclub, with your friends, in your group chats, and we just try to give you the real talk and what you kind of need to hear. So because mm-hmm. we took a break, we're starting fresh with our dilemmas. These are straight from our inbox that is fresh. Mm-hmm. So if you've sent one before, send it again into drink at goloudnow.com. And this is the dilemma. So it says, Hi girls, I'm recently single and find it so hard getting used to the single life. I'm not lonely, I don't miss my ex, but the bit I'm struggling with is meeting people. I'm in college in a female dominant course, so I don't have any male friends. I've tried Tinder and it's just not for me because I always get the ick way too easy. I want to meet a person and be asked on a date rather than them saying, hey, I'll come collect you or we go for a drive when that only means one thing. I've also tried one night stands and nights out and they're just not for me. I just feel like shit after it. I suppose what I'm asking is, do you have any advice on how I can meet people other than Tinder? I don't think I've met people in the past. I think the thing about the mask and about collecting it or will we go for a drive? If a man said to me, do you want to go on a drive? 
Ick. Are uh, you mad in the head? It's sick. Okay, 10 years ago, maybe grand, yeah, because there's nothing else to do. What else are you meant to do? Do you want to go on a drive? Do you think if that's the case, if someone asks you that, you should just Tell be like, I hear he's in the bin? Or else could you be like, oh, what about going? Should you suggest it? No, I feel like men should have a bit more cop on than to suggest a drive. That's true. Is that all I'm worth is you driving yeah. me around? Yeah. What? Yeah, so you should wait for a man who doesn't Yeah. Say that. No. Drive. There needs to be an age limit on when you can ask a girl, do you want to go on a drive? 21. 21? 21. Yeah? 21. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I'd rather go on a walk than a drive. I'd rather I'd walk. Drive I'd, I'd rather meet you at the end of my driveway. <laughs> Drives are so awkward. Oh no. And you're like speeding around. Oh, stop, I'm actually getting the ick. My stomach Ew. feels my stomach feels icky. Ew. Um. Well, we tried the hinge thing for me, remember? But we just kind of set that up as that's like Tinder, that was same kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, that isn't was it? that absolutely went nowhere. I reckon I've actually never met a man in the gym, but I reckon the gym, if that's what you, something you're into. Yeah. I feel I've heard a lot of people, and I've never experienced it. Like once when I was younger, someone asked for my Snapchat. I was like, what? Um. But apparently, it's a really good place to pick up people, and that people like approach other people in the gym. Give over. Yeah. Now I don't know if that's. To head me in the gym. Is that a bit icky than people approaching in the gym? I think if it's in the right kind of context, maybe. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. It couldn't be. Right environment. Creepy. Yeah. 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 Um, Where else? That's, I don't meet men, so I've no idea. Australia. <laughs> no. <laughs> maybe in like, about... maybe try like, could you try like a new bar or like somewhere new with your yeah, friends? Yeah. Like if you don't like a night out. Yeah. Like a, a a bar for a bit of dinner, even like do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't necessarily have to be a rage and night out. Yeah, true. Like if you if you and the girls went out for a bit of food or whatever, a few drinks, a few yeah, mm. a few drinks. You're not really into the nightclub scene. Mm-hmm. Go to a bar for a drink or two. Yeah, and I also feel like the like second you stop coffee. looking for someone, they come to you. They come. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's hard, isn't it? Like, I think you have to put yourself out there more. And go, if you want to find someone, like, go to new places or suggest somewhere or, like, somewhere you haven't been before because that's where you find people you haven't met before. Yeah? Yeah. I think so. I'm just really bad at it. Well, do you want to find someone? Well, find me one one day, girl. One day. If you really were like, right, I want to actually sit down and find someone, you could probably be like, right, let's go out this weekend, go to a bar. With who? Me, I'll come. Girl. Set you up. Like, I'm a, I'm a domestic woman yeah. ever. Well, no, you just tell me to kiss everyone. Yeah. Just say, like, kiss, kiss, kiss. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's your favourite hobby is to just say, kiss, kiss, kiss. Yeah. It's great. It's what puts people together. Pretty sure I actually made someone get together in that. Shut up. Yeah, remember, you're, you're pretty kind of. Is that what happened then? Yeah, well, I made them kiss. Like, I don't know. How, I don't think. I don't know if they don't. No, think, I think you did. I, I think. Know. I think you did. I'm pretty sure I said it. I need to get confirmation on this. But oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. you are cute. Yeah. I'm, I've put. I've sat with a few people. My friend and her. They're actually exes now. But yeah, they like met through me. Well, as soon as I saw your head swinging around on that pub the other week, I knew exactly what you were doing. I knew. I knew. My head swiveled. Oh, your head. Fuck. You were like an L, Charlie. <laughs> your, your body stayed where you were, and your head swung like that. Have you, said, have you met my friend? Have Ellie? you met? Have you met him, Ali? I said, I'm gonna kill you. But yeah, come here. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Oh, I don't know you. I'm great. Fine. Don't when know. you're good, you're good. You really are, sir. Um. So we have a new part of the dilemma segment mm-hmm. called "Phone a Friend," and you are all our friends watching and listening now. And we put up a dilemma on our Instagram stories. Our Instagram page is Home I Drink Pod, and we get to ask um use for use for advice yeah. and what use would do. So, let's see what the advice... Oh, first of all, the dilemma. The dilemma is, Hi girls, I'm with my boyfriend for just over three years now and we're about 24. Recently, my boyfriend told me he was having doubts about our relationship and didn't know if he loved me anymore and he said he had been feeling like this for a while. I was absolutely shocked as I didn't see it coming at all. We decided to have a few days apart to see how he was feeling and a week later he told me that he didn't know what he was thinking and he was sorry. We He's been absolutely perfect since... But I just can't forget what he said because I would have never dealt with our relationship before. Do you think people can say things that they don't mean sometimes or is the truth behind er- is there truth behind everything we say? Thanks, girlies. And here is what some of your responses are. So someone said, maybe he just felt that way at the time but then realised that he has something good, girl. 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 
Um, someone said, some truth behind it. My ex did the same thing to me after three years and after six years, it was so heartbreaking. Someone else said, move on. The right man will never question being in love or being with you. He's not the one. Um, think that. Like, it, it should never even be a doubt in your head. I know this is meant to be everyone else's advice, but I, I would <laughs> say that sometimes men can just like throw their toys out the pram and then be like, fuck what have I done? Something in like the moment. Rash decision. In the heat of things. Yeah, but yeah. Then it, I know it's so hard to like forget what they've said. This person said, I'm in a two and a half year relationship and have been feeling the same as him lately. I think it's okay for you to feel like this, especially if your partner hasn't been making you 100% happy. I'm turning 22 this year and it scares me to think that if I'm going into to be in a relationship with someone, it's going to be for marriage. Hard to know if it's 100% right the person, especially as I've had a three year past relationship whom I also thought I would spend forever with, but it didn't work out. But Defo talk about the things that make you happy and unhappy in the relationship with your current partner, because that's helped me. I find why I was feeling that way. Okay. Someone just flat out said, he's just been cheating on you, realised the grass isn't greener and is now crawling back. <laughs> Aww, hope not. I hope that's a really um, wrong answer. Yeah. I hope. Uh, someone said thoughts and emotions are complex things to navigate maybe he was having a crisis mini crisis but clarity came we all get doubts and odd the odd time but many of us don't just don't voice it they pass and realise how you really feel and see how he treats you now and acts over the next few months if he wants to break again or isn't sure then it's over oh shit yeah I would agree with that so now yeah. you make I've definitely said things past that I'm like what? I don't even Why mean I say that, that? Yeah. in the heat of the moment like things Sometimes it can affect other people. Do you think you, you can have dry patches in your relationship? Like, like so. weird spells? I think it's very up and down. Sometimes it's great. Like, not as in like toxic where it's highs and lows. But yeah. there's times when like you have to give a little bit more. Or like it's not yeah. like, of course. I think <laughs> that's natural progression for a relationship. Like yeah. Someone said he meant what he said. Plus he got scared about being alone. If you don't want me then bye bye Okay. It's very mixed, isn't it? Isn't it? Someone said relationships can be overwhelming, especially as we grow older. I think it's normal to doubt a relationship. It would be different if there was constant doubt, but the fact he's been fine after a few days apart, I think there's nothing to worry about. Oh, Okay. That's a nice one. Yeah. We'll end on that yeah, one. Yeah, we'll leave, leave yeah. that one there. I like it's that. It's very mixed. It's very isn't much it? based on people's, uh, people's experiences, though. Yeah. A lot of people would say, no, cut it, leave it. Once they think that, I'm gone. I'm but then gone. a lot of other people say, that's completely normal to feel like that so hard when you're not actually in it as well, I isn't know. it? Like, yeah. So you can send your dilemmas to homeidrink at goloudnow.com. That's our email for everything. We're going to lastly do our peak and bleak of the week. Mm -hmm. so we're going to pick one high, which is our peak, and one low, which is, of course, our bleak. And it's only right that we do the negative before the positive. Obviously. Yeah. Because it makes the positive that bit better. Yay. What's your bleak bird? I'm going to do peak and bleak of Australia. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that one. My bleak would be... The weather we got when we went travelling, mm -hmm. it was rain season up the East Coast. We didn't realise that would be my bleak because it would have been a bit nicer had it been sunny. Yeah. Still amazing, but if I'm being picky. Yeah. Yeah. I think my bleak was I could have easily stayed another two, three weeks. Yeah. I think my bleak is, although, yeah, we did go for three weeks. We could have stayed longer now because the podcast took longer to come back. No? Shit, yeah. We literally could have. <laughs> could have came back last week. Yeah, literally. <laughs> no, yeah, I think my bleak was, it's not even a bleak. It's just, oh, something I might have changed. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Was that I definitely could have stayed mm -hmm. longer. Could have fit more in. Wait, even though we did so much. Peak is pretty surprising, Megan and Sean. Yeah. Love surprising people. Yeah. And just like, to never spend time with them and we didn't see Sean obviously as much as we would have liked, but... Um, Megan literally spent every week she minute was, we were calling her door the she was our tour guide yeah. <laughs> and it was just so it was so nice just to live in my friends worlds because like they yeah. at home they would have like we all used to live at home when they all lived at home Um, all of us still lived in our houses so now to like go over and see their apartments mm. and like their little life was just really nice that was cute yeah I think my peak yeah, probably same as you, but seeing it from my brother's point Your brother, of view. Your brother, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God love him. Aww. Yeah, so proud of him. I was like the big... And surprising Jack, actually, because I told him I was you coming on, anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on yeah. a different day. So, yeah, I think my peak was surprising Jack. And seeing, and his, seeing little his little life and yeah. his environment and meeting all his friends. And yeah. Just kind of, yeah, following along in his in his, his world. Steps. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Very cute. Love that. 
guys, thanks so much for listening. You can go back and listen to our bonus episode as well. Mm -hmm. So our bonus episode is not on video. So if you're watching this, you can't watch that one, but you can listen. It comes out on Mondays. It's a bit more spicy than our old bonus episodes. We have new segments in there. It's not just funny dilemmas. Yeah. And if you're not sick of us by now, then you can go, go watch, to that. listen to that as well. Um, New episode time didn't come out every Wednesday. And they're now on video as well, as you can see if you're watching. And if not, maybe you can listen to it and watch it. Watch at the same too. time. Yeah. Hep. Oh, well, yeah. no, maybe if you're if you're at home, home, you can watch it, and then in the car, you can listen to the rest of it. Should just do, it. yeah, do it twice. Yeah. Why oh. not? Make sure to like, rate, and subscribe, and comment if you're on YouTube as well. Let us know if you like the video. Don't let us know if you don't. I don't, don't like know what it. camera to look at. It's three different cameras. I keep um, and yeah. Is that us? Yeah. Okay. Love, love you. you. Bye.